Hello viewers, and welcome back to my second attempt at the intro for the final episode, well, our final on-camera attempt at Nightmare Mode here in Noita. Uh, sorry about the delay, it was all for building suspense, it was dramatic timing. Um, also, there was a lot of loud construction work being done on the house, there's only so much I can do about that. Alright, I don't necessarily love stainless armor and extra health, but I do necessarily love everything else that's going on here. <laughs> All two of the other things that are going on here. Okay, interesting. I do love a nice Eldritch portal. Uh, okay. Well now. Wow, this is a this is a compelling wand. So 0 0.38, 0 0.38, 0 0.38, 0 0.38 is pretty exciting. I mean, obviously, this thing's a big winner if we can just keep the cost of whatever we're doing low enough. So critical on burning is 10, critical on bloody is 10. Hmm. So like if we did triple spell, fire arc, and just two of the magic missiles just to try to like keep the, the costs low. I mean like, when I say cost, I don't mean mana cost. I mean cost in number of magic missiles that we will have left. Maybe we could set up a really silly amount of damage, but honestly, it's probably overkill. It's probably good enough to just use this wand exactly as it is, right? Let's just start there. And then... Um, this is kind of... <laughs> it's kind of not a very good... Um, spell we don't really have. I guess this is our explosion spell. But also, we can just use the magic missile. Here, let's let's have a wand that has the exploded crystals in it. And then this is just like a bunch of modifiers that I don't really know what to do with. Like, reduce spread is cool. I don't know. There's just... I cannot imagine wanting to use Ping Pong Path. I'm going to leave that in that wand. Um, and we're going to... Once again, I'm going to try to just leave extra health here and we'll come back for it. But it'd be really cool to find a heart or two before we do that. Alright. Not fire immune. Reasonable thing to note. Just use a little bit of water. It's nice that we started with some proper water. Wow. How did that catch on fire? We kick the minecart. Oh, that didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. Alright, so we're just gonna we're gonna try to make a safe way down here. And then we will we will consider how much we want to look around left and right for hearts to try to make that perk better. That wand has electric sparking coming out of it, so let's just not take any chances there. Wow, that's a lot of fascinating stuff in there. Um, I will take this, and we will we will figure this out later. Oh, this is that thing where um, this burns through, and then there's a little room. It looks like there's nothing in the little room this time. It's not always the case. Nope. Oh, there we go. What is that? Huh. Okay. Well, I do not value this wand or these return spells at all. But I do value reduced recharge time. And we will we will figure the rest of it out later. For right now, I'm happy to just continue magic missling my way through most of my problems. Ah. I'm so worried I'm going to blow myself up, you know? Uh, not particularly interesting, I think. I don't know what that perk is. I cannot... Damn it. 
I cannot believe that nest survives a direct hit from magic missile. That's wild. That thing, that thing has a lot of health. Alright, well, we found the bottom. So I guess we can we can look around some. I fired really poorly there, and I really appreciate that rat leaping in front of the projectile. That could have been really bad. I, like, I tensed my whole body in a way that was really not necessary for the amount of danger that that projectile posed to us. It was really not that bad. Alright. Show me four hearts. Four to seven hearts. Okay, that guy is immune to explosion damage, right? Or maybe he's just immune to the fire. In any case, don't particularly want to fight him. But he's coming. Oh, he's coming for us. How am I not? There we go. Alright, so we're just gonna fill up this little area with water. I will refill this in a bit. There we go. Spite. What an asshole, right? Alright, remember the projectile still does good damage. It's not just about the explosion. Probably detonate these from a distance too, just in case. Damn it. There we go. How are we doing on this thing? Okay, I still have quite a few missiles left. Yeah, I think that I, um. This is kind of giving off sparks. I just want to make sure that it's not going to detonate on us. I'll take a bottle. I'm not really sure if we'll want to use a lava potion at any point, but we should have a bottle. And I was so proud of myself for how well I was shooting earlier. Now this is happening. <sighs> Alright. I don't think we're going to be able to claim any of that gold safely. What a terrible job I have doing. I hate the fact that they like they just spread so much lava over such a large area when they die. All right, let's um let's go back up here. That thing should have burned that that big wooden area should have burned through by now. I can't believe I can't access that gold. Okay. Yep, it is in fact the case that there is nothing in this area, except for tiny pixels of floating dirt that trap you forever. You know, Cask of Amontillado style. Am I really not allowed to get- I really am not allowed to get out. Okay, well, uh, if we remove the electric charge from this, I can just spam this to dig through a little bit. There we go. Okay, sure. No, that, that makes sense. I can see why that would be the thing that happened. Okay, the water is out of that entirely. Criminy. Oh, 
Okay, so we're at 44 health. Probably what, what, what I ought to do is just go back up, grab the perk, and get the hell out of here, right? That's the, that's the smart money. And the reason I'm saying this is that you will all understand that I know that what I'm doing is a bad decision. I am absolutely still going to do it. Um, let's, let's change things up a little bit here. So this has... Yeah, that has pretty good mana regen. Alright, uh, let's say this. So this is adding cast delay. What if I do this? What's that look like? Acceptable. Aha. Uh -huh. And you all doubted me. How dare you? It's all right. You can, you can make it up to me by sending no less than $100 in a money order to my P.O. box. And I will absolutely forgive you. Probably. Get, okay, there we go. Yeah, it sucks to not have water. I don't like not having water. I think we are, in fact, going to just bail here. Being pursued by predators. I don't even feel like I can I can go after stuff that has slime around it. Because water. Whatever. Let's just grab this perk and, and get out of here. A whole extra 12 health for all that work. I'll take it. Actually, I forgot that this this particular perk increases your current HP. Oh, right. Sorry, I have a, I have like a proper digging wand now. Okay. Should not have been able to catch fire from that. There's fires in this game, they just, like, they need to burn out. They need to occasionally burn out. It's like anything that, any anywhere that a fire starts, that fire is permanent. And that's not how it should work. Obviously. Right, 525. I think we should be able to get to 600 relatively easily here. And I am definitely interested in doing so. Okay. So now, were we to leave immediately? Why can I not see into there? There we go. Were we to leave immediately, obviously, we'd be able to potentially afford two perk rerolls. But what if? What if two perk rerolls and some actual stuff in the Holy Mountain? I mean, just look at all this money. It's just laying around. Waiting for somebody to shoot the hell out of it and then pick it up. So in case you were wondering, yes, it is a tremendous amount of pressure. Uh, to be on the final episode of the series, not feeling like I've even gotten like particularly close to my goals, I'm just having it all, having it all ride on every little decision I make here, including the decisions that get me stuck inside of a wall. Yes, it's nerve wracking. Yes, it's a problem. But on the other hand. Have you ever seen me be good at anything without there being a tremendous amount of pressure on the line? No, because you've never seen me be good at anything. But who knows? Maybe this is maybe this is what it takes for that to happen. There's no way anyone could possibly say that they know for sure otherwise, so. Alright, 954. I am being lazy and not digging out every little pocket of gold. You know, somewhere you gotta, somewhere you gotta make your decision. Like, what is, what is my human time worth? How many pixels of gold? And I have an estimate. Okay, so we're well over a thousand, and we still have eighty-one health. So, like, 
part of me, perhaps foolishly, perhaps a part of me that wants to be miserable, thinks that this is a perfectly good excuse to just continue onward. I cannot believe how many hits these frogs take. Oh god, get me out of here. Okay, there we go. They're so tough. How did they get to be so tough? Look at me. Look at me remembering what happens when you shoot at the firefly that is above you. It's all, it's all good signs here. I really thought that, like, given the angle there, that I was not in danger. <laughs> Very satisfying. Impossible to retrieve. I am legitimately very pleased with that kill. This game is still, like, very fun. And I can't tell you how happy I am about that. That I'm... Oh, yes. That I am sort of retiring while I'm still having a good time. And as such, can sometimes just go back to the game and play it a little bit in... In low stakes mode. Off camera. Why is this... Why is it so hard to walk in here? Well, I mean, we can continue making money here. Obviously, at this point, in terms of actual power gain, uh, money is probably not the most relevant thing. More hearts is nice. Well, like, projectiles. Projectiles would be pretty good. I honestly, I feel like we've got decent wands now. It really is just about finding good things to shoot out of them. We even have some pretty solid modifiers. All right, let's um, let's leave. That that hit from the frog got me low enough that I don't. I um, I no longer feel safe. Okay, 197 health. 197. Wait. 25 plus 20. Okay, yeah. Alright. Um, so, always good to have a chainsaw. In Noita, as in life. And then, like, it feels like you probably want to have Spark Bolt Trigger, but I guess, hold on a second. Let me go see what my perks are. Uh, Fungal Colony, very dangerous. Slime Blood. Revenge Bullets. I mean, resistance against explosions and projectiles is certainly not bad, but... Just hoping for something a little bit more immu immunity e. That said, I will absolutely take all seeing eye. This prevents me from making very stupid decisions. No, it doesn't. It makes it easier for me to avoid making very stupid decisions. It does not prevent anything. I am sort of in a place here where I think maybe we just keep r rolling how we're rolling. Like, obviously, the... Um, the magic missile wand is also good. I don't know that I feel that we have a good reason to change this up, though. This is very solid. Yeah, I think for the moment we'll uh, we'll keep it as it is. And I don't really know what I want to do with this. This third wand is at this point sort of just the thing that holds my extra stuff. It is it is a bag for spell components. All right, let's try to not immediately die. Ah! Hate. Freaking easy. No, for real, die. Okay, that's neat. 670 for a damage up. That 
That's a lot of water. Uh. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, cool. Okay. I'll just I'll just be over here for a second. Uh, let's go ahead and dig down to that, I suppose. Interesting. Uh, yeah, extremely not worth having. Uh, same. Don't much care for that spell. Alright, I feel like we have stabilized our initial position a little bit. I did not even look at that wand that was right near the entrance yet, though. Knew it. Knew it. I just had a feeling. I was like, up here, this exposed, you know. You know some asshole's gonna come along. So how much does it change things when I do this? I think that's probably okay. Damn it. I appreciate the enemy trying hard to, like, move into position to take the next shot. Very kind. Extremely selfless play there. Um, nah, not that interesting. It has a nice short cast delay. Or a nice, yeah, yeah, cast delay. But the recharge time is long enough that it would be harder. I, th it would be hard to make it behave better than this thing behaves. Speaking of which, hold on. Let me just look through here. Point five three. Yeah, I think we think of the ones we have so far seen. We are equipped with the right one for the thing that we're trying to do. And I guess let's just head down through here, right? We've made ourselves a nice, a nice safe way to go. Wow, that snowman did a huge amount of damage to that thing. Nope. Agitate until no slime remains. Okay. Oh, interesting. What is that? Hold on a second, I think there's a couple of spells in there we've never seen before. I don't have the money to buy them. Triplicate Bolt really it cuts through snow and ice incredibly well. The Frozen Rock, somewhat less. Projectile Area Teleport Expanding Sphere. Hmm. Oh, I hear a lot of sparking. I am, I am concerned. I fear Uko. The blood is insulating the slime from the water. How dare it. area of snow here, so we can just tear through that real fast. There we go. Wow. Okay, guy who can't be killed by damage. I'm trying to back up. I am trying so hard to not be over there anymore. Okay. So yeah, this is going well, as always. It really, like, it does seem to be the snipers pretty much always, right? They just, like, they have, they have a big, tough, bad guy worth of health. They can shoot you from anywhere. 
It's like they're they are always dangerous. They're always able to sh to shoot you for terrifying amounts of damage, and they cannot be killed. Where is that? Sounds like it's above us somewhere now. Maybe. Thing is, I'd like to. I would like to have enough money to buy one of these things. I just don't think it's worth sticking around for. Probably not. Let's just go. Let's just go. How's that going? Well, some of them are still alive. There we go. Here I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Ah, damn it. I just, like, completely froze up in the air. Primity. This wand has pretty good stats and one extra capacity over the wand we're currently using. I would love to just... Oh, hold on. God damn it. Of course. Had to be the case that if you stop for even a, even a split second, you're going to get... Attacked by enemies from both sides, both of whom have machine guns, and... <sighs> Sadly, I think this is where this was basically always destined to end up. I'm actually very bummed out that we didn't get to check out what's going on with this wand. Whatever that guy's holding, that looks like a very serious weapon of destruction. Anyway. Final stats here. 404 deaths between the between the on-camera and the off-camera stuff. Uh, and look at this. Look at how much there still is to see. We've still only seen like half of the spells. We're still... It is still the case that I am just finding new stuff sitting around in the world, even beyond the things that we have yet to unlock. I, there's just so much game here. All right. I wanted it to be a win, you wanted it to be a win, and I think if we're honest with ourselves, we all knew it wasn't going to be. So that's going to have to be it for us for today and for the series. It was a very nightmare mode way to die. The only way that it could have, that would have been more nightmare mode was would have been for me to die to a sniper from off screen. Uh, which is a thing that has happened numerous times. Uh, thank you all so much for watching and for sticking with me through this whole series. I think this game is remarkable. I think this is like a generational discovery. Discovery? You don't really discover video games. It's a good video game is what I'm trying to say in a big way. A lot of good. Um, but we're done with it now. <laughs> How do outros work? When you come back next time tomorrow, we're going to be playing a different thing. I'm going to be I'm going to be showing off some new stuff. And we will do everything in our power to find another game that is as beautiful, as wonderful, as terrifying, and as gripping as Noita has been. And we'll see you then.